Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome to another episode of Yo a Nerd. And this is if you don't know, now you know Black History Month edition. Alright, so what's good y'all? Welcome to Yo and Nerd. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, please tell your friends about me. So, you already know, bruh, it's Black History Month, and you know I'm spotlighting all black everything. Black comics, black characters, black creators, black superhero, whatever. I'm doing it all black this month. All black. I normally do black anyway. But we keeping it special for this month, Black History Month. Today I got something real special. I wanna talk about a new universe in comics. Not even superhero, this is horror. So if you trying to get into some horror comics or you already are in the horror comics, this is that. Chances are you probably already read what I'm talking about. But if you're not, hey, if you don't know, now you know. So if the universe I'm talking about right now is this horror universe written by Rodney Barnes, who is from Annapolis, Maryland, who I'm from. And if you're on TikTok and you follow me on TikTok, you see me talking about it a lot, a lot, a lot. But he created this new horror universe and it consists of two comics, Philadelphia and Nita Hall's Nightmare Blow. Now, both of these are fire. They are both fire, and I'm gonna tell you how they connect and what they're about, all right? Now, so, Philadelphia is about this dude, Jimmy, this detective, who then, who lives in Baltimore, but he has to leave Baltimore to go to Philadelphia to bury his murdered father, right? And in Philadelphia, and when he gets there, he stumbles upon, like, this whole vampire infestation that's going on in Philadelphia. Like, these vampires are taking over, and there are some very historical figures in history that are part of this drum, right? Which actually makes it real cool, right? It's even a past, maybe a past president that becomes a vampire and shit like that. But, Philadelphia is a real cool story. He goes there and stumbles upon this whole vampire infestation he's trying to stop it trying to stop it from you know like killing philadelphia for you feel me so one great thing about philadelphia is the art like there's this guy sean alexander he had he's been on with uh he's been on with rodney barnes working on this comic he does the art rodney barnes does the writing and them together has been fire that has been great bro and then i think it's a good match to comic the comic art matches the story like the horror and matches like this art and it really goes well together especially with the blood and the darkness and it. it really is cool so you definitely need to check Philadelphia out and in the same universe we got Night of Hall's Nightmare Blog right and this joke is about the Jimmy my man who goes to Philadelphia his former girl is it's still in Baltimore. And this story takes place fully in Baltimore. And basically, she's being haunted by her brother, who's like a ghost. And she has like this blog where she's helping people that are like dealing with like, you know, demonic stuff, like evil stuff. It's like a whole blog where she helps people deal with this stuff. And then she stumbles upon like this real evil demon that has taken over this uh, singer that was from Annapolis, where I'm from, which is real cool. Taking over like this past singer from Annapolis and he's just going around like killing people like he's just going ham on people and one reason i really like this comic it shows a lot about my hometown of annapolis it has a lot of tidbits about this real famous beach cars beach where they say like people like james brown used to come to play it was this real beach it was like where a lot of black artists came and played in annapolis which is really cool y'all not from annapolis but y'all if you were, you would know how cool it is that a whole bunch of black acts came to Annapolis and at the beach, no less, and performed and then did their thing. And it was like a whole historic thing in Annapolis. And I love that this comic has that. And plus, the writing for this comic is still on par with the, with uh, Philadelphia and it's fire. Like, it is great. And Sean Alexander is also still on the art, bro. Like, this joint is tough. Like, 
the blood, bro. Like it's, it's. I may sound a little weird, but the blood look great. Like it looks tough. Like I'm a horror movie person, and then like this comic, really, these comics really feel like horror movies. Not even horror movies, like horror TV shows. Like they need to get picked up. Like HBO Max, Netflix, something, bro. Not sci-fi unless y'all gonna give it that money. Damn sure not CW, but I need this joint to be TV series, like in the connected universe, it's real dope. And in both comics that I love, Anansi the Spider, the God, makes an appearance in both the comics. And he is real powerful and he's dope. And it's kind of weird because he be talking like me, so I kind of read his stuff in my own voice, which is kind of cool. So, but this is a whole universe. It's horror, it's not even superhero. It's outside of DC and Marvel, outside of Big Three, written by a black writer who's also from the same town as me. And if you're from Annapolis and you want to get into this, you should definitely get into these two comics. Because they're both dope in the same universe. Like I said, it's outside the Big Two. And you should definitely get into it. By Image Comics, Image Comics, you feel me? So, definitely y'all should support. This is Black History Month, and this is a very dope black comic, and it's literally one of my favorites. It's fire every week, and I'm not even just saying that because it's black people in it, but it's fire because it got black people in it. But I'm not just saying that because that it is great, and I think y'all should definitely check that out. So, if you don't know, now you know about the Black Horror Universe. In Philadelphia, uh, Baltimore, I don't know where they may go to next. They may do something in Chicago. That'd be tough. Maybe New York. They should keep this jump going. But please check these out. Philadelphia and Night of Hall's Nightmare blog. These are some of my favorite comics right now. Please check them out. If you don't know, now you know. And tell your friends about me because if they don't know, they should know. Peace, y'all.